with both of these heroes, especially if AUI gets that early point in Smail who takes some damage. G already gets Shadow Strike and uh, DK Phobos getting EG and we'll see if it pays off. Yep, I gotta bring up. Uh, sorry, I gotta bring up my tabs now for the last hits. But oh, here comes an aggressive blink from Samel. He's only level three, or he's only level two though. So that that's kind of an interesting play there from him. If he was level three, I could totally see it because the shadow strikes are so much more effective. But kind of a curious blink there from him. Anyway, this should be relatively a, kind of a wash in mid. I do think that Quap is definitely favored though. Um, if you had to, if you had to tell it one way or the other, right? Top lane though, this is a very tried and true aggro dual lane. I mean, this is one of the most popular ones, at least from what I've seen as of late. Oh, Universe missing a CS right there. There's a lot of control it... here with ice shards mid lane. They're gonna go on to G. They use the shadow for it. It's level two now. Here comes the Arctic burn, and PPD comes from the low ground. They'll get the first blood for Sumail. He'll take a couple of tower hits. He's gonna die in the tower. Sumail didn't have that blink away. Unfortunately, he goes down. G will get the return kill, but still, it is first blood given away to Sumail in the end. Could be way worse. I, I think you're total. I think you're not totally fine with that if you're VP, but it's not like a ton of sweat off your back. So, G he TP's back uh, and he'll be okay. But yeah, oh, no, there's an aggressive not blink from be Sumail. Okay. Uh, the level two shadow strike. That shadow strike, man, especially against the squishier hero like Zeus, it, it's, it doesn't feel particularly great. AUI will get rune control. He'll grab a bounty rune, which leaves universe alone top lane. Oh, that's an invis now picked up this time by PPD. This hero is so good at diving lanes. Have you, how many times have you seen, at least I've seen, where like you're on, where Wyvern's on Dire, and you just actually go around the tier one, or behind the tier one, yeah. and you just dive them that way because you can go over the cliffs. It's extremely yeah. strong. FNG trying to help out his buddy G as he's suspecting maybe PBD's around. They didn't actually see the Invis rune bottom, but... Uh, they saw I mean, that the rune wasn't there anymore. Yeah, and they know that he's roaming around. He's going to go all the way top, this, actually. This could be huge for them. Top lane, this is their their positioning isn't particularly great. They're going to go for the snowball. Illidan's going to get caught out. Lil can go for the telekinesis. There is going to be the Arctic burn. Illidan, one more right click should do the job from PBD, and it will. In snare, they're going to go for two old. Try to TP out. They have no way to stop this TP. They'll actually cancel to stay by the tower. So smart play coming out from the, the Rubik there, but... Still, in the end, it is going to be another EG kill, and they're going to start off the game 2-1 to one in terms of kills advantage. Dude, the two-minute invis rune is just the bane of every team. It's so hard to deal with. It's even worse if you have vision of them getting the invis, because then every single lane has to play scared. Yeah. It's so hard to deal with. Um... So yeah, nice rotations that, as he goes all the way up top. Now he's running towards mid, maybe oh, looking for a career, harder? but it is flying, so I don't think he's he can kill it. that. If he, if he does Bottle Crow, though, and it's slowed down, then he can get it. And yeah, the Courier's coming back. Looks like they might try to Bottle Crow this. Maybe does Arctic maybe Burn work on the Courier? I don't think it does. I don't think the smoke works anyways. Oh, they're gonna, gonna go for it anyways. They're just gonna go on to G instead. They say, listen, we like that Courier, but we want your Zeus more. He'll try to bottle up. Last right click, but the Shadow Strike comes in. He was dead to rights anyways. Nothing he could have done there. Great rotation. That's exactly what you're talking about, but on the Dire side, he dives instead. Instead of really diving, he just walks into lane and gets an easy kill. And Winter Wyvern is a force to be reckoned with here early on in the game, especially if you're roaming as well as he is. And Zeus was actually doing pretty well mid uh, against Quap, but there's just so much, there's been so many ganks now, so, so much aggression oh, onto Sumail him. Sumail has a double damage. He could easily go for he a could, kill here. He could easily solo him. Is he level six to you too? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. He, oh, did he skill up? God. He hasn't skilled up his level six point yet now. There he goes. He's got it. He's going to wait game. till he goes for the creep. He's going to wait till he goes for it. Yeah, there's going to be the Shadow Strike jumping. He doesn't have the mana for Sonic Wave. Will he use it? He does just to pick up the kill. That was a little bit closer than maybe Sumail would have liked. He's actually out of bottle charges. He might have to go home, but that was still I mean, a, it's an easy kill, man. Yeah, you're totally fine with that. So even though he died after giving up a freebie one, he is now three and one. He's got his treads at four and a half minutes. With bottle, with upgraded magic wand too. This is this is really hard, and honestly, it's not the fault of G at all. Like it's just partly the draft, partly the lucky invis rune. Well, that went for top actually, mm -hmm. but just really good rotations from from uh, the wyvern. This hero is extremely good at ganking. He really is. He's yeah, actually leveling up Arctic Burn. Which I is... think the biggest issue, well, two of the biggest issues there. Are, there's mana issues for for Winter Wyvern, and there's mobility issues. He's very slow, but with Tranquils, that that's sort of negated. So. And now PPD can continue to roam. For now, he'll help out Fear, who's down bottom. They actually rotate in F and G, and DK Focus is nearby as well. Uh, 
Uh, DK Phobos has done a great job getting levels. We'll see if they can convert this into a kill or not. I'm mid lane. Jeez, going to get jumped on again. And EP rotation coming into mail will not get the kill. They're going to go on to DK Phobos. Long range jump from Fear. He's going to try to charge away. Only charges into Fear to stun him. Last couple of right clicks. The Burning Spear is not doing enough. Maybe they will. The three sex now two sex. Last one by and will die. He's on fire and dead. Now top lane, they're gonna go into Illidan Storm Rage. There's the snowball coming in. They only need one or two more right clicks for Illidan. The Riptide there, the armor reduction. He's wet. Lil in trouble as well. Fable comes out. Can they get this kill? Universe taking tower hits. AUI will clean up and get the double. G comes in, lightning bolt. Not enough damage. He's got arc lightning. Universe, he's gonna try to tip away. They have vision though with the thirst. They will get the kill with G. It's the only turnaround they get across the map. And AUI is actually going to get dove here by FNG. Rather not do, but they're going to keep Vision coming up with the charge. Thirst will be on in just a second. AUI is just trying to find any way to get out of this bad situation. And Sumail will come to the rescue. He's got a Scream of Pain ready to go. But he doesn't have Blink. It's only level one. That long cooldown, he won't be able to Blink up to the high ground. And here comes DK Phobos as well. First hit bash, not there. Second hit bash, is it going to be there? No. DK Phobos not getting lucky with these bashes. He's going to jump in. Shadow Stroy comes out, blinks away after the lightning bolt comes through. PBD does have the cold embrace just in case. But after all that action, EG comes out and it's 7 to 2 now with all this aggression. Yeah, it's. <laughs> It's just, they're doing a really good job about punishing VP's lineup. I'm not one to usually call lineup greedy. I don't like doing that, but I do think that their lineup actually was greedy uh, this time. Just because, oh, there comes the snowball. On to mid, there's a charge actually onto Samail. Zeus is dead. There comes an ulti. Samail, he's putting in some damage. He actually gets lifted back towards the tower. He does fall. DK Phobos, one more auto attack. Nope, he will be okay. So it's a two for one exchange. He shards off the mark just a little bit. They blood rage the Zeus as he got jumped on. That walrus punch just destroyed him. He got punched in yeah. the jaw. He's dead before he hit the ground. I did not expect him to die that fast. Holy crap! I thought he was going to be at least okay to cast one more spell. Didn't even he didn't even have uh, wasn't able to cast the ulti there. So he's still only level six. Compare that to Quap, who's level eight. Oh boy. Yeah, not great. Classic miscommunication from Virtus Pro, Blood Rage and G right before he dies. They they didn't really have any reason to expect that gank coming in, and that's fair. So, Dumail is just bottom oh, oh, and Sarah FNG gonna get caught out, and he'll Blood Rage up onto AUI. He's just not doing nearly enough damage. FNG's gonna get boxed in by these illusions. There's gonna be the little Thunder God's wrap. Jump in. FNG denies himself to Roche. He had nowhere to go, and well, he'll kill himself with the big guy. Now the ice shard's coming in. Global comes through, but it's too late. Fear has already jumped in. Universe doesn't have snowball for another couple of seconds. He does have his ice sigil ready to go. Sumail can jump in with a blink in one second and will more than likely do so. Shadow Strike's ready to get the sloth, and Illidan has resigned himself to death. Fear even jumps in on the dead body of that silencer. It is 12 to 3. This game's getting out of hand real quick, Trelv. Yeah, I, I just... I'm not so Oh, actually, I see some action going on bottom as Phobos is going in deep, and I think he's dead. Oh, he oh, actually gets bash. an extra bash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 17% indeed, but I just think that the uh, the jungle bloodseeker is not paying off here. It's not so much that the it's a jungle bloodseeker and like what he does as a hero and how fast he farms, et cetera, et cetera, which he's not farming fast at all. But it's more of that it left you a very vulnerable lane up top with a last pick silencer who just doesn't, he doesn't do anything in lane as far in terms of like being de defensive. Like if you go on him, he's just dead to most lineups or most um, um, groups of heroes. And they had, a, they had a Tuscar. I mean, what better way to dive a hero and bring your team with you than a Tuscar? Yeah. So it just, they kind of left him out to dry, in, in a sense. Yeah, not to mention the Naga Siren who kept in staring, retiding, just being a general nuisance, and PPD who roamed in wants to get a kill. He's even got a counter ward here, a nice counter ward placement from PPD. And it's 10 minutes of the game, but this, this game already feels really bad for Virtus, bro. There's 5,000 plus net worth lead for Evil Geniuses on the graph. Experience-wise, it is 4,000. It's only going to get worse unless uh, maybe Virtus Pro can convert on this. They're going to charge on an EG's at AUI 2000. Get hit up, stunned a little bit, but there's the Arctic Bird coming through. DK Phobos still pretty quick, but that slow adds up quickly. Beautiful ice shards from Universe. They're not going to go in on this, though. They decided to back away. They don't have everybody up and ready to go, nor do they have Winter's Curse just yet for PPD. If they had that, that would have been a perfect time to use it. Wrapping around the backside, G is invisible. He's looking perhaps for AUI 2000. They'll see together, though. 
They shouldn't lose a hero in this situation. Yeah, and what's 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 the silencer's farm looking like? He just has treads right now and a magic wand. Not great. I feel like they're gonna have to if they want to bounce back into this, as there is an aggressive smoke coming out towards the mid lane. Lil, he actually steals blink, so Ooh. if they're not able to stun lock him, he might be okay. Although net is very very good against that. Does have a, a cast so. animation, but and uh, oh, there's a little bit of communication. The stars, eg, they don't they're not sure if they want to go on this or not. They see that he has the blink, so they know it's a little bit more difficult of a kill. So a little bit of a misstep there from Samel giving up that blink. It's an amazing oh, spell to steal. They're gonna go on they're gonna CG and he's dead. Oh my god, dude. He died in half a second. This gets freaking destroyed. So that's another hero down. Now they're gonna put pressure onto this tier one tower mid. They should get it. Lil does have blink, he's gonna blink away, knowing that he's in some trouble. AUI was right next to him. This is all without fear, by the way. He now has a helm of the dominator on top of his armlet. That's 10 minutes boots. HOD armlet, pretty solid farm so far for fear. He's not even top of the net worth. That belongs to Sumail, who's sitting almost on a Yule Scepter, which he seems to love this item on multiple heroes, and for good reason. He'll get the tower tier one as well. It's it's really good against one Spirit Breaker and two any silences on the team, so I have no problem with this. It also is extremely good mana regen, so great pickup for him. They honestly don't even need fear at all. He could be any hero in the game at this point. All he is is late game re or I should say mid to late game reassurance uh, because right now the other four members are just cleaning house in terms of map control and uh, efficiency. I think they're up to like you know, 7,500 or something. Oh, Phobos. Oh, Phobos. Morris punch, not enough. Universe didn't use his double damage until afterwards. Global's gonna come out. Universe is kind of in a pickle here. He's gonna get right clicked down. They have the last word on him as well. There's the slow and Zeus ult. The song doesn't come out fast enough, and AUI can't save his teammate. They have somebody coming in. It is Sumail. He's got his Sonic Wave ready to go. They're gonna cancel it. Sonic Wave should fly. Doesn't catch on to DK fumbles. Sumail gets blown up. Illidan and Lil going to work. They're gonna turn this on to PPD. The Splitter Blast, not enough damage, but they will get the kill in the end. Winner's Curse comes out. FNG trying to chase him down. AUI in the backside. Cleans up with a Riptide, but G comes in, but here's Fear, jumping in long range, slam gem, thank you, ma'am. He's on a killing spree as well, pop up, that inner vitality, three for three trade, will Fear continue onward? He's not fast enough to catch these heroes out of position. Lil will sit behind the tower, Fear might walk in, but that should be the end of the trades there. Man, if that ult from, from Samael clipped just the, I thought it was actually gonna clip the Spear Breaker. I thought for sure it was in range. Because sometimes if you ult, like, it looks like it's not going to hit a hero, and it actually does, but that one actually looked like it hit the hero. So I was very surprised that his ult didn't clip him. Unfortunate for him. There was some really nice body blocking from the illusions of Owie. I don't know if you saw that, but yeah. two illusions were uh, blocking the Spirit Breaker, but he managed to charge him and then get out of harm's way. So it actually went okay for VP, all things considered. Nice rotation from Fear coming up top, getting himself active in the fights just because he has all this farm. You want you want to be active in these fights with all this farm yeah. and, and do something with, with this good amount of farm. Um, I think if the Sigil was up a little bit more, or sorry, if it was leveled up a bit more, he would have been fine. But, you know, this is the build that most Tuscars go. Nothing wrong with that. EG's still in a fantastic spot looking at that. It's almost, it's getting towards the 10k net worth at only 14 minutes. It's pretty insane. That is uh, that is a nice lead to have. You can argue that any trade for Brutus Pro is a good trade at this point, but they've got to find something. they got to find it quickly. Bloodseeker did do some work in that fight, and Lil as well. Illidan was actually doing a surprising amount of damage. Does get a vitality booster for maybe Radabetu is coming out for Silencer. Could be his next item, but mm. they're going to try to go for a tier one tower trade as Fury's going to continue to pressure top lane. And that'll be it for now. It's definitely a good item in terms of stats. It has been buffed up in terms of like what it gives you raw stats once you complete the full item. Right. But I don't know if the slow is like the slow usually helps when you're chasing people and you're like being the aggressors. To me, at least in this game, I don't know, I guess it, it works well with their their uh, hero composition, but at least at this stage, in this juncture of the game, they're the ones getting aggressive on. So they need to kind of pull back and play a little bit defensive. I thought maybe four staff would have been great, but yeah. Um, like I said, though, in terms of raw stats, Rod of Atos is very, very potent. He wants to be a bit more tanky, I can understand that. Yeah, four staff doesn't necessarily give you that. It gives you some great mobility, but... Right, exactly. <laughs>
They are just getting killed too quickly in some of these engagements. They'll take the tier two tower down top lane, but now they're gonna rotate. They're gonna find Lil. Global will come out. Snowball can't be used just yet. There's the rupture. It'll be on PPD. He's got his winner's curse. Won't get it off. Great usage of the Thunder God's wrath. There's the Insnare. Illidan trying to be away. No way he gets out. Fear just chunks him down with two hits. Universe is gonna find Lil. Use the large punch. Cancels the TP. Scream of Pain. Fade Bolt. Sonic Wave on the backside. Elsewhere for Smell. Spell was stolen. Not gonna get the inner vitality off, however. It does turn into a one for three. So great start to that fight for Virtus Pro, but it doesn't really, doesn't end well. And uh, EG get three kills and more than likely a Roche as well. Yep. I mean, what better hero to use the Roche than the Huskar? I, I just don't know. It's it's really hard. Like, even if they have good fights and they get like the Blood Rage onto the Zeus and he's blowing everyone up, it's not really gonna do that much against Huskar, who's really been left completely untouched this game. Now has 2K gold, <coughs> excuse me, on top of his, uh, his armlet is on the Dominator, probably going to go for the Sange into um, into the Halberd and the Roshan, and they do give the Aegis of the Mortal to the Huskar, so yeah, I mean, we're kind of rambling here, it's it's getting really, really out of control. There is potential to do tons of burst damage with the Zeus and the Bloodseeker, but outside of that, oh, Samael actually taking him dead, he's just dead, yeah, I think. Yeah, he's dead, he'll try to blink away and he's just not going to make it up. That is, a, that is a clean kill for Redis Pro and a kill they needed desperately, they'll find it. Uh, they need a lot more than that, though. But how often do we talk about, you know, the Zeus or, or anybody in the Bloodseeker and the potential damage that you can pump out? And it just it rarely comes to fruition. Either Bloodseeker does all the damage himself or it just doesn't work out the way they intend it to. However, there have been certain games that Bloodseeker and another hero have done a lot of work. This game doesn't seem to be that, that type of game, though, as FNG is just trying to stay alive for the most part. I don't think that this game is indicative of like the combo not working. I think the combo is still extremely strong. I, I think there's nothing wrong with the idea of having Bloodseeker plus a Zeus or Bloodseeker plus a Quap or whatever. It's more of the it's more of the problem of like drafting it and then assigning your lanes to have a silencer up against this kind of aggression. Uh, it had nothing to do with the combo. It's more of like just letting your you, you needed more help and more support for your silencer, yeah. or they needed to like you said dodge, just put silencer bottom. But either way, they needed to protect him a little bit better. This is not a hero that does well against kind of aggression, yeah. and we're seeing the we're seeing the effects of that. Fear is looking to jump in. That RT burn range is ridiculous, and Elden, you're freaking dead, man. You are freaking dead. That's all I can say. Lil stole a snowball. It doesn't show up on the other side of the the screen here, but that that is the ability that he did steal, which is nice to have. And they're gonna go for the 2-2 tower. Th this game is gonna end pretty quickly, I think. I, I would not be surprised if each year able to push in with this Aegis in particular, not that they have the mech on Universe. Maybe they wanna wait for the, the Agonite Scepter for Smail, but I don't think that's a necessity at this point. They'll continue to clear out these creep waves. They'll take the tier two tower. Maybe they go for bot tier two before they push the tier three, but they, they don't really need to wait much longer to finish this game, I think, for Evil Geniuses. No, nope. they almost have Greaves, I think, for Universe, which would be really, really good. Yeah. Uh, assuming that's what he wants to go for. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think they have any reason to wait. They have Aegis, they have big core items. And they have a, actually a decent chunk of time. Maybe they can wait for the eggs on the Quap, who has it in like 700. Greaves are going to come out in like 100 gold for Universe. So maybe you wait for that. But I think this tier 2 tower will be you know, the starting point. It'll provide them both of those items if they don't have them already. Well, full Vlads for the Naga, too. I was wondering where his farm went. I was just like, oh, maybe he's buying all the wards. Nope, he bought a full Vlads. So. Yeah, what does PBD have? He's got a cloak. He's going to have that Glimmer Cape very soon. What is it? 1600 for uh, the Shadow Amulet? Maybe 1400. 1400. All right. So, yeah, he's actually just 200 gold away from his Glimmer Cape now. So, which is a very classic item on that hero. No reason to not ever build that. Or no reason to not get that item is what I'm trying to say. He should be grabbing it soon. I they think see against, everyone made, by the way. Against the Zeus, Glimmer Cape is viable on any hero. Yeah. So, I've <laughs> nothing wrong with that. God. Adding up with uh, Fear's Berserker's blood, how are you supposed to kill him? Doesn't seem possible. They're gonna try to go for a tier 3 push, and this is exactly what we were talking about. No real BKBs this game just yet, which could be huge for EG if they need to pick him up at some point, but they're gonna try to finish it without them. They have the Guardian Greaves flying out, I believe, now, as well as the Aghanim Scepter. And they're going to keep the waves pushed out for Evil Geniuses, and they'll move from there. And for Virtus Pro, they're just desperately trying to finish, number one, an Atos for the Silencer. And G is trying to get, I don't know, he's got a lot of different items. He's got a smorgasbord of, of crap here in his inventory. Sage's Mask, Soul Ring, Point Booster, Arcanes. 
you can imagine that he thought, yeah, maybe Yules. Uh, yeah. maybe Bloodstone. No, nah, maybe Aghanim Scepter. That seems to be G thinking. I'm sure he's just trying to stay alive at this point. <laughs> yeah. Just getting everything that he can. Um, but yeah, now Greaves are up for Universe. I friggin' love this item. They have the extra armor from Vlad's. If they all get low, by the way, they get like 15 extra armor from the Greaves too, with 15 extra regen. God, it's such a good item, if you can afford it. It's very, very expensive, but if you can afford it, it's so damn good in fights. It truly is. It, the, the, the cooldown change with mech, I think, is the biggest thing for this yes. item. Um, I've heard, when we were at the hub, um, Hani was talking about how you would like to have the arcanes as well as the mech uh, or guardian groups kind of separate. Um, so you can use the arcanes when you want. You can use the regen aspect when you want. Um, I think that would be... That would be an okay change. I don't think it would really break the item. I'd like to see that. I'm not sure if you feel the same way, but... Um, I'm sorry, you have to say that. Well, I got message. I was... Separating I... the arcane part of the Guardian Greaves and the regen part, so like making it two different um, abilities, maybe. Oh. Um... You don't have that choice when you think about it. Yeah, I mean, it's debatable. Anyway, tons of, tons of TPs here, bottom. Oh, God. That's beautiful. <laughs> They're going to blood right. The silence will come through, but it's actually going to miss. She might be able to get the tower. Someone might be able to get the tower. Sonic Wave will go. The global comes out a bit too late. Yules comes out of the G, was trying to TP away. They already killed Elden. Snowball will take down that squishy Mario ass motherfucker, and DK Fobo is going to get caught out. Nether Strike's going to go. They have the Shadow Strike as well. He'll charge away. Blank forward, Chamel. Try to block him. Try to get the kill with him, but he can't do so. And it looks like DK Fobos will not be. Uh, part of that uh, squad that goes down, but they still take two heroes, and this will lead to at least a tier three push or pressure from the geniuses. So yeah, the reason why I was uh, a little a okay there, I did get confirmation that they're not yet at Boston, but three of them are in San Francisco. So okay. it's uh, Peter, Fear, and Universe are in San Francisco, and the other gotcha. two are not. I'll make their way towards uh, wherever their boot camp. I'm assuming San Francisco pretty soon. Tier 3 tower now under siege by Fear, who has an Assault Kuros if they needed anything to push easier. I mean, that I mean, that item certainly does help. And Universe has got his Guardian Greaves, Atos on Fear. They're going to try to slow him down. No Aegis, though. He should be careful. They steal the Ice Shards for a little. They'll successfully stop the push for now. It looks like EG will just regroup, however, continue to enter Vitality, and go from there. Well, I gotta say, EG are making this one look really easy. <laughs> I, I, I would not expect this to be... Uh... An EG versus VP game if I saw it and I didn't know who the teams were because this yeah. is just a massive stomp. Um, it is the best of five though. So. It is the best of five. Teams are experimenting maybe a little bit. What better way to experiment than game one, right? Yes. This is the best way. This is the best time to do it. You're not going to lose too much. It's not like, oh crap, one more game and then we lost. So you have a little bit more wiggle room, so to speak. And this but, is upper uh, bracket as well. Something to keep in mind. I just, like I was saying in the beginning, I don't think EG are a team to just let you do what you want in terms of, like, getting a free farming jungler, whether the, whether it's an Enigma, um, getting, having greedy lanes and getting away with it. Here comes a rupture onto the Quap. He did successfully blink. Yeah. Uh, you can do a little bit of a trick where you watch this a little bit and then blink, and uh, it will stop the damage from the rupture. Rupture is now faded. Time. Here comes the charge. He's got 12 stick charges. DK Bob is going to come in. PBD almost got the Winter's Curse off, but instead he gets charged, and... He will be the martyr for Sumail or Winter Wyvern. PBD is going to be dead for 40 seconds. PBD, by the way, slacking a little bit if you look at the net worth chart. He's the only one that is not above any of the Virtus Pro heroes. He's, in fact, only ahead of Lil, but he has been what you would call the ward person on EG's team. So it's not a huge surprise. And he, has even, he even has a Glimmer case, <laughs> so it's not like he's completely under farm. You just, you just dropped the F-bomb and you can't say ward, bitch? I mean, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I, I try to keep my quota down, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. It down. There, there's, there's no reason not to, I guess, now. I think there's a little miscommunication there when uh, the charger's coming out. Like, Smell probably could have just used the Yules onto him, one of the better uh, abilities against the charge. But I think Peter was like, oh, let me get the Winner's Curse and we'll kill him. But I don't know what the range... Oh, the range is actually not that bad, but he just happened to get hit by the uh, charge. It was kind of an interesting thing there. But he does have the Glimmer Cape. So despite him being the second lowest net worth, he's still got pretty much all the items he needs for the rest of the game. He wants to get to level 11. The w winner's curse for PPD, the extra half second duration is, it might not seem like much, but I feel like it is in, in close games. Although this game isn't particularly close, they have yet to take the tier three tower. They have yet to take the racks. There is still that comeback factor. 
Whenever you're playing Dota, no matter how far down you are, if you have not lost a tier three or Rax, you're still in it. And G does have a Bloodstone. And as as improbable as this comeback actually is, especially with Roche respawning this quickly, there is that still 0.01% chance for Virtus Pro. But we'll see how that turns out. I want to see how much damage the Chain Lightning from, from G does with Blood Rage. I think it almost one shots a complete creep wave with Blood Rage on it. I think maybe you have to cast two, but it almost... I'm not 100% sure. That's, this is why I'm, I'm curious, but I feel like it almost one-shots it. Yeah. It's, which is... It's like basically having a Coddle Nuke every point... What is it? Every set 1.75 seconds. Beautiful. Pretty insane. Yeah, it's actually glorious. Um, we have a lot of Craigasms in chat. Shout out to Lion Earth, who I know is the one that started that situation. So they'll take Roche for EG, they'll give it to Fear again. He did go for the Sanja, as you rightly predicted. I see no reason for them to stop until they get at least a tier three or even possibly a Rax with this push. They're smoking it behind Fear. They have a great Observer Ward. It's almost like they're baiting this Observer Ward. They should know that, Fear, that there are people behind Fear, but they don't have the visual confirmation for it. They're gonna Aetos Sphere so that he can't push too far into the base. PPD will just use his uh, art to burn. Fear is gonna get blood right in here. He'll try to regen up with Inner Vitality. Splinter Blast will go ahead and take down some of these creeps. Sumail will clear him up with his room of pain as well. And they're gonna do their damnedest to defend here. They did lose their tier three tower. They're gonna smoke up for Virtus Pro. They don't get it on Lil. He might be the bait. Will they wrap around or will they stay in base is the question. He is gonna lose his smoke. He does have that Blood Rage on him. That's quite frightening, as we were mentioning before. Atos is on fear. There's the global. PPD went in too far. Glimmer Cape came in. There's the Sonic Wave coming through, doing a lot of damage. Blood Rage. Fear is still in trouble. Now they're starting to reset the fight. Will they back away? Will they go is the question. Fear toggling his armlet yet again. Fear wants to stay in. Armlet's going to go on just a second. He's going to jump. Sonic Wave blows him up as well with a jump. Now another Sonic Wave stolen by Lil. DK Phobos not long for this world. Lil going to stick up and try to survive with the Burning Spears damage. And Sumail comes in with a great scream. This will end the game. Triple kill for Sumail. Walrus punch right in the goddamn jaw. And that provides Sumail the ultra kill. All five dead on the dirt. Dunzo McDunzo and EG will take the racks, if not the game, Trout. You know what? That fight actually could have gone way different if that silence from Bloodseeker hit Aoi. Because they they got they killed the uh, they killed the Winter Wyvern immediately, and then Owie was almost dead. You saw him trying to use the animation. He was running away from the silence, but he just barely skirts on out of the uh, out of the AOE and was able to get off the song and reset the fight. I think if he gets silenced there, they may have actually defended it or at least held maybe use some buybacks and come back and fought. But very very nice maneuver from Owie right there, getting the ult off. Here comes the snowball. They're, they're taking some time with it. They're gonna rush it in on the G. G's gonna get hit up here for Fear. There's the Sonic Wave again from Sumail. Fear gets a double kill. TK Fumbles gets obliterated. He had the Blood Rage on him. FNG is gonna go down as well. Ultra kill for Fear. Double ultra kill. Give him the Rampage. Give him the Rampage. The Snowball oh, comes in. Is he gonna get it? Fear, one more right click. He doesn't get it. The well dies before he can grab the Rampage. DG is called. But uh, fantastic first game coming out, Trial for Evil Geniuses. That was a troll play by Universe. He, he snowballed him so he couldn't <laughs> attack anymore. Yeah. That bastard. Yeah, anyway, the same thing. The evil Geniuses just mopped the floor with VP this game. There's not much more to say about it. They completely outlaned them. They ganked both mid and top a number of times.